So welcome back to Fitness Friday. And today I'm going to tell you the reasons why I left Fitbit as a smartwatch. And the main reason, the main reason, if we're honest, is because you cannot connect a chest strap to your Fitbit. Yeah, I've had a Fitbit since, I don't know, like 2016 until, let's say, 2019, something like that. I liked it was cool i started with a surge which had a built-in gps which was good it was like very early and the surge you know i liked it it was cool i didn't really know anything about fitness or calorie tracking or uh, how many calories you use when you ride a bike or run or whatever but, you know it was more like a toy and less of a an exercise tool and then at some point like i I was kind of annoyed. I switched from the Surge to the, what was it? HR2. Um, what was it called? The Charge. Charge 2. And the Charge 2 didn't have a built-in GPS. It was smaller, which was nicer because the, the Surge was, it was massive. But the GPS with the phone was very like, it wasn't reliable. Half of my, not half, but at least once a week, my GPS would uh, like stop mid session and then on the map you would have like a straight line and between like, I don't know, over 10 kilometers and it would, uh, it wouldn't even make some kind of extrapolation to like sort of think what the, what the path should be. It's just a line. And then your, your tracking is basically shit. Then the second thing that bothered me, the main thing that bothered me, is you the, the HR tracking is shit. I know Fitbit says, ah, you you don't need any external uh, heart rate monitors and you don't need anything. You just need our Fitbit, which is cool. I mean, I would also like to believe the product my company makes is the best and it's infallible but that's not the case with this because uh, if i'm sprinting on a bike or on foot and my wrist based heart rate tells me i'm 120 beats per minute like heart rate and in the in reality i'm going like <laughs> and i'm like ex almost exploding something doesn't work so the wrist-based heart rate tracking is really laggy. Usually doesn't really, like, it, it can't correspond to anything because by the time it measures that you're on 180 B, uh, BPM, you're either way below and then it doesn't even get there. Or let's say, I don't know, it takes like 30, 30 seconds, a minute, sometimes more to, to like go to steady state. And then that, that's meaningless. I mean, I, I need to know how long I am at maximum heart rate. This is, this is important. And then they don't give you the option to, to connect a chest strap. Like the technology exists. You can, you can pair a chest strap with the, with the Bluetooth. You can even do it with the, with the app, I mean, whatever. And I switched to Garmin and Garmin has heart rate, a wrist based heart rate. And I also tested that and for the wrist, it sucks. I mean, it doesn't react as fast as you want. So you're losing some of the, like, you're losing meaningful data from, from your training session. And, but you know, they have their own, their own product. They have the chest straps. Um, specifically, personally, I use the triathlon HRM, the tri HRM. They also have specifically for biking, for running, for swimming. I don't know what the differences are because the triathlon one does everything. So whatever, but you have the option. You can go without, or you can go with, and I don't know these things are not cheap. Like smartwatch, 200, 250. The trackers that are just pure trackers this is for kids. So from a hundred to no, this, I don't know. Let's say from 50 to 150. This is not this is not pocket money. This is like this is an expense. And yeah, I spent 250 in my uh, triathlon smartwatch or half smartwatch, <laughs> semi smartwatch, and 80 in the chest strap. But these are dedicated products that work. I know they work. I know they work. I know they do their jobs. And I know that it's not a, it's less than a toy. It's more of a tool. 
And that's it. That's why I left Fitbit. But tell me what what your experience with Fitbit is. Maybe you have a better experience. And maybe you like the their website. I find their website a bit old fashioned and like clunky and weird. Like the GUI is not really good. Uh, traveling back to past activities and such is so much work. It takes so long. And yeah, I hope anyone enjoyed this and that it gave anyone sort of consideration about what to choose. And yeah, have a good one.